we're putting down the base bedding for the riprap right now. Once that's in place, then we'll be putting in uh, larger bedding rock and, and building it up. And as you can see, the water levels are quite low right now, and so we're trying to take advantage of that opportunity to get it in without uh, having to work around the flow that would normally be coming through the dam. This was laid on a previous project, all this riprap here. Mm -hmm. This is probably about, a, on average, uh, an 18-inch riprap, size riprap. Mm -hmm. We're bringing 24-inch riprap mm -hmm. and 36-inch riprap. And when you say 24 or 36, that's the average size of the rock. So this, you know, it's gonna be pretty portable. Well, this is the uh, phase two dam repair project. We're gonna be doing a number of things here. First of which is we have some deteriorating concrete on the dam that we need to tear out and replace. What we got here is the, the solid paint marks are gonna be concrete removal. And we're actually gonna chip it out, remove it. The skip dash lines are cracks that we're going to uh, uh, inject a crack sealer into. Those are maintenance activities to prevent those cracks from getting larger and creating bigger challenges in the future. Uh, we're also repairing the scour holes, which are large holes in the riverbed that the floodwaters that we release from the dam dig into the river bottoms. So this happens typically every spring when we have large rain events. The reason why we have to repair those is scour holes have a tendency to work their way upstream toward dams and so we want to repair those scour holes before they become a challenge. We also are removing the old tail pool dam that we think was built in either the late 1800s or early 1900s. That predates the Lake Decatur Dam. That was the original dam on Lake Decatur that supplied the community with water. That dam is no longer usable, and so we looked at either removing it, repairing it, or replacing it. Uh, long story short, in our cost analysis, it was cheaper to remove the dam uh, because of the ongoing operations and maintenance costs that we would have if we repaired it or replaced it. We also are going to be doing the Asian carp barrier across the entire length of the Lake Decatur Dam. That will be installed this year for the contract. A lot of this work is being uh, started this fall, which is perfect construction uh, time to be doing it. It's the driest time of year for us. October through December are, are the lowest amounts of precipitation. So this is a great time for them to be down here in the riverbed. You have to remember that this concrete is, uh, was installed between 1920 and 1922. Uh -huh. It's exposed to the elements 365 days a year. Extreme heat, extreme cold, plus it's wet all the time. And concrete does not last forever under those conditions. So about between every five and 15 years, we go back and do these major repair projects to maintain the structural integrity of the dam. Most of this work is what we call preventative maintenance. If we do it now, that means we don't have a bigger problem later.